I'm Dave Palmer, a chartered accountant. I've been married for 44 years. I've one daughter and four granddaughters, and I was ordained a deacon in 2007. A cradle Catholic, I was away from the church for many years, but I came back when I was taking my daughter to Catholic school. It seemed hypocritical not to take her to Mass. And in 1996, I went on an Alpha course and God changed my life. Suddenly, Christ and his church took on a new meaning for me. I've always been a workaholic and I immediately got involved in evangelization. As a finance trainer, I was used to public speaking. But it soon became obvious that God wanted me to use my natural gifts of administration in the service of the church. People kept asking me to sort out management, charity law and tax issues. I went on a seminar about the permanent diaconate and almost every word seemed to resonate with me. My favourite hymn is the Servant King, Jesus who came to serve, not to be served. Deacons are the servants in the church. If you read Acts 6, you can see that they were appointed because people complained that the apostles, the priests, were neglecting them. And the apostles were worried that they had no time to pray. That's the situation today. There's lots of work to be done and priests are trained to be priests, not managers in finance, human resources, marketing or administration. Over the years, I've served as a trustee for 10 different church charities and I just completed six years as a trustee for Birmingham Diocese, where I was also diocesan treasurer, almost a full time managerial role. Being ordained deacon didn't change what I am, but it focused me on supporting the church using my gifts and gave me the additional sacramental grace to cope with what needed to be done. It didn't stop me evangelising, no more than the need to feed the Greek widows stopped Stephen preaching or Philip running up and down motorways looking for Ethiopian eunuchs to convert. But it did enable me to work more effectively within the church because I could speak with authority. The world of secular work has much to offer the church by way of management systems and practices. The church has much to offer secular society regarding ethics, honesty, compassion and prayer. A deacon can exist in both worlds, sacred and secular, just as Christ did. In many ways, the diaconate mirrors the combination of Christ's humanity and his divinity. His parables show a knowledge of woodworking, shepherding, farming, family life, even sewing and housework, although he may have got those last two from his mother. Whatever you do in life, the church needs your skills. God made you and gave you your individual gifts. Pray and ask God to guide you how best to use them. Remember, the best plan for your life is God's plan. May the peace and grace of God be with you and those you love. May he give you the gift of discernment to listen to his voice so that he may guide you in the right path.